All right, all right. Shalom, shalom. Peace, power, and blessings, family. Peace, power, and blessings. It's your brother, man. Back with another endeavor of love. First and foremost, want to give kahala to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, or in the English tongue, all praises unto the Most High God in the name of His only begotten Son, who the world calls Jesus Christ, man. Hey, accordingly to the blessings, the grace, and power of the Most High God. Your brother is back at you with a prevalent topic, man. Salvidity on the line all the time. We got to stay strapped up, stay in the spirit, man. And the strongholds of Satan, they take place and are executed, manifested through the mind, man. Hey, in the form of doctrines, man. So we cutting the cap, man. What'd you say? We cutting the cap, man. Hey, it's 2023 and we cutting the cap. What's today's topic, man? Listen, faith without commandments is dead. Hey, we taking it there, man. We got to get real specific. The topic is very, uh, you know, it's light work. But ain't nothing light work in the most high, man. Ain't nothing to be taken slight, bro. Ain't nothing to be taken lightly, bro. Every piece of the puzzle, every part of this thing, faith, works, charity. Hey, we want to be putting it together in these last days and putting on the faith, man. Right? Putting on the faith. The brother can't say you ain't out here in faith, man. Accordingly. Hey, I want to stop. Hold up. I want to stop. Give call hello to you how once more, man. Listen, let's get into these scriptures, man. Listen. Hey, let's go with the book of Romans. All right? What's the topic once more, man? Listen, faith without commandments is dead. We going to prove the issue. We going to prove the issue today, man. Is it through faith? You got two, you got people knocking on your door. You know, they open the door. You say, hey, hey, what's good? Good morning. How's it going? You talk to them sensibly, right? The, the, the people start talking to you. Oh, we got a pamphlet right here. We want to invite you to our church. We'd like to, to, to speak with you about the word. Do you have a said? You tell them, yeah, then they're telling you about John Smith and they're telling you about faith doctrines. What's that about? Faith doctrines? Oh, man, this is what faith doctrines is. Let's go to the book of Romans 10. And verse nine. Now, now get now, now now before we get into this, I want to state something. Right? That was a that was a scenario. That, that was called picture painting, y'all. What I did. That whole scenario set up through the power and the spirit, man. That's called picture painting. But listen, I want to state something. The word of God does not contradict itself. Wow, whoa, 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 whoa. The only contradiction with the Bible is a lack of understanding with the reader. Let's go in. Because this verse right here cannot change what this one said. Hold on, man. And first and foremost, we need to understand one thing. Hey, in this endeavor, let me see. In this endeavor, give me Romans 3. Then we're going to come right back to Romans 11. Uh, Romans 10, Salakia. Give me Romans 3, Salakia. Bear with me, y'all. Listen, because before we get to this, I need one thing to be understood. Can't, this verse over here can't cut this verse. The burden of the believer is to get it all to go cohesively because Christ comes in the volume of the book. I'm trying to be delicate with this thing and I'm trying to do this through the grace and the power and the spirit that the Lord is allowing. Let's get into this one. Let's give me, give me Romans 3, starting at verse 3. Starting at verse 3. And read what that says. For what if some did not believe? Listen. Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? God forbid. Yea, let God be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that thou might at thou that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings, and mightest overcome when thou art judged. Do you understand that? We gonna go by how it is written, and let God be true, and every man a liar. I want you to understand something. I'm not going to sit here and prove. I'm not saying that faith without commandments is dead. The Lord gave me this message right here. And the most high said through the Holy Spirit that faith without works is dead. You're not arguing with me. You're not wrestling with me. You, hey, If your doctrine is that all you have to do is believe and you don't have to follow any word and that your faith without commandments is dead, we're going to see how you, how your doctrine and your faith stands up to what the word of God said. That's what we're going to deal with here, man. All right, now the brother's going to cut off the thing because they don't want to deal with this. <laughs> but that's how we coming, man. Let's go to, all right, that's how we coming, man. All praises to the Most High. Now let's go to the book of Romans, chapter 10 
and verse 9. And we're going to get this because brothers and sisters are truly seeking for the most high and the kingdom and more and, and life more abundantly through Christ here on the earth, man. And in the afterlife. These are the things that we searching for, the kingdom, man. We want the kingdom in the afterlife, bro. And we want the kingdom here on earth, man. We want the power, man. Until it be our time. Oh, man, this is heavy already. Hey, listen, this is the book of Romans chapter 10, starting at verse 9. And it reads, That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Hey, listen, the Most High God raised Christ from the dead, and you ain't going to never die. You're going to be saved. You're going to be in heaven with God when it's your time to go. Through your belief now, through your faith, right? And this is the doctrine. They say, listen, all you got to do is confess the name of Jesus to be the king and believe that God have raised him on the third day and that he was resurrected and fulfilled the prophecy and all that was written of him and sit on the right hand with the God, with the father right now. Mm. You're going to be what? Thou shalt be saved. Listen now, is it by faith or is it by the commandments? People are telling you, why am I doing this? Am I saying that it's you don't have to have no faith? No, I'm not saying that. I'm not going to say anything. The most high is going to prove the issue. Let's continue on. Give me Ephesians 2. We're going to give you the second part of this because they tell you it's by faith. Now, listen, they say it's by faith, man. All you got to do is believe in Christ. Watch this, man. And then this is the other hook, line, sinker verse they get you with right here. Listen, this is Ephesians chapter 2, starting at verse 8. <clears throat> and it reads, Ephesians chapter 2, starting at verse 8. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. Nine, not of works, lest any man should boast. This is what they hit you with, y'all. Now, they don't read number 10 and they don't understand number 10. But listen, <clears throat> so like it, they went the whistle. Through the power and the spirit, we going to build, y'all. And, and, and when we come back to this and we deal with this number 10, you're going to have the most clearest, cold cut understanding of this, man. And when someone comes to you with faith doctrine, you're going to be able to stand on the word of the most high being justified. Speaking as it is written, man. Hey, and on judgment day, thus saith Christ, man, you're going to be justified. <laughs> Let's get into it, man. Give me the book of James chapter two, right? Give me James chapter two, starting at verse 17. And read what that say. Because listen, man. We're not here to play no games with Satan. We're here to wake up the 12. It's high time. And brothers got to be putting it all together, man. Thus saith the Most High. The Most High will not have you ignorant to the devices of Satan, man. To Satan's devices, man. We cold vicious down here, man. We waking up, man. Hey, listen to this. This is the book of James. Chapter 2, starting at verse 17, and it reads, Even so, faith, if it have not works, is dead, being alone. Whoa, what is that? Even so, if it have not works, it is dead. Listen, even so, faith, if it have not works, is dead, being alone. Now, let's go a little deeper. Watch this, y'all. 18. Yea, a man may say, thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. Hey, listen. Listen, y'all. Thou believest that there is one God. Hey, do you understand that? Let me get you 18 again, because 18 is slap you in your head. You might not understand that King's, that King's English, Shalakia, or excuse me in the English tongue. Listen, 18. Yea, a man may say, thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, 
and I will show thee my faith by my works. Do you understand that faith without works is dead? So saith the Most High. So saith the law, the scriptures, and the testimony. We're going to prove the three witnesses, y'all. This is a witness. This is, this is Saint this is Saint John. This is Saint James, right? Telling you in the New Testament that these faith without works is dead. <laughs> hey, 20. But will thou know, O vain man, that faith without works is dead? Woo! -hoo. You go deeper into this, it get a little bit tricky with Abraham, but you gotta understand his faith. When he put his child on the altar and was going to slay him was a work. <laughs> so he had faith in works and it was alive. Hey, the Bible. Now, understand what I'm saying. The law, if To the law, the testimony and the prophets, if they speak not according to this, it is because there is no light in them. Loosely paraphrasing a, a, a Bible scripture to Google and have so that you understand. If they don't have the three witnesses, the doctrine can't stand. If they if there aren't those three witnesses, the law, the testimonies, and the prophets, it, 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 it can't stand. It gotta have the three witnesses, man. This is the hey, hey, the Bible say let it be established amongst two or three witnesses, yay or nay. Let your yay be nay or, or, or your nay and your yay be yay and your nay be nay. What the Bible tell you when I ask you that question? Yes or no? Does it say that? Yes, it does, family. It's a rhetorical question. The Bible don't contradict itself. How do you understand this and push a doctrine that says it's by faith alone? Listen, y'all. The Bible says today you're going to understand, man. Will thou know, O vain man, that faith without works is dead? Let's go up a little bit through the power and spirit of the Lord. Listen, 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 listen. What does, it, what does it profit, my brethren, though a man say he have faith and have not works? Can faith save him? Listen, y'all. Listen. Now, this is a deeper cut that I'm, listen, the most high working. The Ruach Kodash, the Ruach Kodash is in the building, so like it for my stuttering. I'm off for two hours of sleep, bro. Listen, the spirit is on me to do this work, y'all. Listen, listen. James chapter two, starting at verse 14. And it reads, same chapter. What does it profit, my brethren, though a man say he have faith and have not works? Can faith save him? So listen, can faith alone save someone, y'all? Listen, if a brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food. Hey, listen, if the brother ain't got no clothes on his backside but naked out here and he ain't got no food in his belly. And watch this. Watch what 16 say. And you and one of you say unto them, depart in peace. Be warm and filled, notwithstanding, ye give them not those things which are needful to the body. What does it profit? Hey, listen. So this breaking down this King's English, it says, listen, if someone comes to you and they are naked and destitute of clothes, they need clothing and they need food. What good is it? You tell them depart in peace and be filled and you pray for them in the spirit and, and speak peaceable words onto them. Speak the blessings of the Lord onto them. You pray for the man in faith, you speak positivity on his life, and you don't give him those things which are needful for the body, which is food. What the heck does that profit the man? 17. Even so, faith, if it have not works, is dead being alone. Now you understanding it. Now you understanding it. 20. But will thou know, O vain man, that faith without works is dead? This is what St. James is telling us. Let's get some more witnesses, man. Let's get Christ in the volume of this book. Let's get some apographer, brother. It's about to go up, man. Pray everybody been good, man. Listen, we finna cut Satan neck, man. With this faith doctrine, y'all. It can't stand according to this Bible. It can't stand up to this word, man. Hey, these doctrines of men can't stand, brother. Give me the book of Psalms. Let's run down. It's time, man. Give me the book of Psalms. Right? Give me 78. So like you, y'all. Hey, man. Through the spirit, man. All things through the spirit, man. It's, it's just incredible, man. And I'm thankful in this time. Did I pass up Psalms? Psalms and Proverbs. Let me see. Nah, I ain't pass up Psalms and Proverbs. Let me see. So like you. Yeah, man. It's such a blessing, man.
you know, we, we thankful in this time that the Most High, you know, woke us up because our bones were dry, man. You understand what I'm saying? I was dry, man. I'm still dry. I'm still seeking for the kingdom and the righteousness. I got a little bit of oil in my lamp, all praises to the Most High, but I don't got the, the wisdom of, you know, I got, I, got, I got a little bit of light that Christ give me, and I'm going to hold fast to that which I have until he come get me. How about that, bro? How about that? You understand me? That's what time it is. Spiritual warriors, uh, stra stay strapped. Listen, let's go. This is the book of Psalms 78, starting at verse 7. And it reads that they might set their hope in God and not forget the works of God, but keep his commandments. Hold on, man. That's a slap and a cut right there. Now we're going to get to it, man. If, if, if we going to understand that faith without works is dead. Well, then we got to ask ourselves, brothers and sisters, what? are the works let's get it listen bro that's a slap it smack you right in your head you don't know hey listen this type of meal right here you gotta understand brothers and sisters do a lot of talking on the mic check sidebar to warm this up for you man because you can't just read this word if the brothers and sisters the bible say how you gonna understand this if you if you don't have a teacher you know christ say in the volume of the book that the the labor is plenty but the laborers are few Hey, we, you need a teacher to break this down for you. Listen, family. <laughs> Listen at what they say. Listen. That they might set their hope in God and not forget the works of God, but keep his commandments. What are the works, y'all? Hey, it's 2023. And this book is not a deep mystery to some brothers and sisters anymore. Brothers and sisters who ain't never been, you know, scholarly whatsoever, got the power to lift up this book, man, through the through the Ruach Wadash, the Holy Spirit and comforter that Christ has left here with certain men to be a comfort unto the whole body of Israel and bring them in, man. We fishers in this time. Listen. And we able to go through here and break it down real simple, bro. Psalms 78. Is King David or King Solomon a liar? <laughs> Listen, man, let's read six through the spirit that the generations to come might know them, even the children which should be born, who should arise and declare them to their children. Hey, who is this talking about? That's spiritual, man. We always talk about Israel awakening. Hey, I was just talking about the law. Hey, let's go five. I'm learning right now with y'all. Listen, man, because I was just saying about the, the laws, the testimonies. And the prophets, if they speak not according to this, it's because no, there's no light in them. And look at the Most High giving me light. Look at this. Watch this. This is the book of Psalm 78, starting at verse 5. And it reads, For he established a testimony in Jacob and appointed a law in Israel, which he commanded our fathers, that they should make them known to their, to their children. Oh, man. Watch this, y'all. And then look at this one right here. Six is crazy because I'm telling you that's talking about these generations, boy. And we the last day generations. Listen, that the generation to come might know them, even the children which should be born, who should arise and declare them unto their children. Hey, listen, bro. Listen, listen. And that's heavy, too, because the Bible says while I was reading this, the truth in the way the Ruach told me it brought to my remembrance that Christ said until until all be fulfilled, this generation shall not pass. So what generation is this talking about? Wisdom is twofold, y'all. It get heavy when you dive into the scriptures and you got the Ruach leading you. Listen, yo, listen, seven, seven, seven. That they might set their hope in God and not forget the works of God, but keep his commandments. Hey, listen, family. That's cutting the cap. That's one. Hey, will you know that faith without commandments is dead? And anybody telling you anything different, man, they need a, hey, hey, you need to go through them with this book and demolish that, that stronghold with this word that I'm finna give you through the power and this word that the most high is giving you through the power and the spirit this day. This book is alive, man. This book is alive in the awakening, bro. <laughs> hey, let's get a second witness and let's prove the apographer. Hey, I always love to prove the apographer, man. 
I always love to prove the apocrypha, man. Give me Syrac or the book of Ecclesiasticus. Right? Ecclesiasticus. So I like you. Bear with me, bear with me. Ecclesiasticus. Give me 32 and verse 23. And read what that say. This is the book of Syrac or Ecclesiasticus. Chapter 32, starting at verse 23, reading the 24, and it reads, In every good work, trust thine own soul, for this is the keeping of the commandments. He that believeth in the Lord taketh heed to the commandment, and he that trusteth in him shall fare never the worse. Nah, that one, that one wasn't good. That one wasn't good. That one wasn't good enough, right? Let me read that again. In every good work, trust in thy own soul. For this is the keeping of the commandments. He that believeth in the Lord taketh heed to the commandment. Listen, bro, it'll smack you in your head, bro. Hey, man, if you believe in the Lord, bro, if you believe in Christ, what are you going to do? You're going to keep the what? Because don't you know that my, my, that the, the, the work of God, the works of God is the commandments, brother? You didn't know that? <laughs> and if you really believe in God, you're going to do what he said. You're going to do what? You're going to keep the what? The commandments. Hey, man, at a certain point, you read this book and it becomes big, one big circle. And you see the break in the circle when, when people try to hatchet one part off and make a denomination. And it's day. I love that old school jazz right there. That's that's smacking my spirit right there, boy. Hey, but listen, when 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 you hatchet the word of the Lord and, and you try to take one piece, man. Hey, that's that's called taking away from the word. You understand what I'm saying? Because Christ said He come what in the volume of the book. Let's get a, a, a third cut. Let's prove these works, man. Let's see if we can get Second Chronicles. Let's see if we can get Second Chronicles through the power and the Spirit. Give me uh thirty-one. Hey man, once again, all praises unto the Most High God who preserveth our souls. Man, we survive by not bread alone, but by every word, man. How are we gonna protect our children and protect our families from these these demonic? Uh, 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 doctrines of men, brother, that are that are being propagated by the lost. And how important is the light in life? This word, man. How you know right from wrong, y'all? Listen, this is the book of Second Chronicles, thirty-one, starting at verse twenty. How you know right from wrong, y'all? The Bible, bro. Listen, <laughs> and until someone tell me a better moral and man code out here. Brother, still back in, in, in science that the, the circumcision is healthy, brother. Anyway, bro, I'm just going into it. You know, man, I'm just trying to tell you the dietary law of God is good. Why wouldn't you want to follow that and, and depart from pig and, 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 and clams and all of these abominations of foods that's making you sick? Why wouldn't you want to put down alcohols and drugs and use things in proper proportion in place? Understanding that God is good, man. That you should be seeking for the kingdom first, man. That God going to bless you, bro. He going to give you greater gifts than this world could ever give you. He going to give you the greatest gifts that this world could ever give you. How about that? Strap up and strap in, man. Listen, stay at this, family. Be encouraged, man. Listen, because this wisdom right here, nobody can gainsay it. Is it by faith alone or is faith without the commandments dead? We're going to prove the issue. Let's go 2 Chronicles 31 verse 20. And it reads, And thus did Hezekiah through all Judah and wrought that which was good and right and true and truth, Salakia, before the Lord his God. And in every work that he began in the service of the house of God and in the law and in the commandments, to seek God, he did it with all his heart and prospered. What is that? Huh? 
What is that, man? 21 from the top again, because you're not understanding it. It hits you in your head, man. Listen. And in every work that he began in the service of the house of God and in the law and in the commandments to seek his God, he did it with all his heart and prospered. Do you understand that keeping the commandments? Listen now. He did that which was good. The good what? The good what? Work. He did that which was good, right, and truth before the Lord his God. And in every work that he began in the service of the house of God and in the law and in the commandments to seek his God, he did it with all his heart and prospered. Do you, do you, <sighs> Faith without the commandments is dead, man. Right? Because the good works of the Lord are the what? Commandments. <laughs> I love it, man. And hey, that's three witnesses that's proven the apographer. Because the man that, that trusts the Lord, the man that loves the Lord, the man that seeks for the Lord, he going to do the commandments. Listen, man, the good work that was in his hand was the commandments. Psalms 78. The work of God is to keep the, the works of God is to keep the commandments. That's three witnesses, man. It's two books. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Let's continue to run down these scriptures, man. <laughs> Give me the book of Psalms 111, man. Hey, listen. Is it by faith? Or is it by works? Someone came to my door, man. And I and I and I and I I find myself putting them in a body bag with that trick and rhetorical question because the Bible says. <laughs> and then I told him something, man. I told him Romans 9, and I said, listen, let God be true and all men liars, right? We believe in God, right? He said, Yes. I said, All right, so is it by faith or is it by works, brother? And and I and I said it and I told him the answer. I said, This is a rhetorical question, brother. Cause I just, cause we just read that James said that faith without works is what is, is what y'all is dead. So it could not be by faith alone. So the question I'm asking the man is rhetorical. You see, I put this, put the man in a body bag. You did what I'm saying with these scripts, man, but we wise so that the man can say it out his own mouth. And the man said, yes, faith without works is dead, but you cannot be saved by works. All right. Well, let's get to that, man. Because brothers out here saying that you cannot be saved by works, man. Man, give me Psalms 111, starting at verse 7. And it reads. The works of his hands are, variety, are, are verity and judgment. Salakia. The works of his hands are verity and judgment judgment all his commandments are sure what does that say truths so verities are verities and judgment breaks down into truths i gotta look that one up that one caught me right there for some reason caught me with my chin out there boy hey it's always through the spirit y'all listen <laughs> the lord giveth and he taketh away man listen 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 let me read that one more time this is the book of Psalms, chapter 111, starting at verse 7. And it reads, the works of his hands are the, ver the verity. Jeez. So I like it. One more again. So I like it. Woo. All right, now. Cook it with some fire, baby. Listen. <laughs> Let's get it, man. The works of his hands are verity and judgment. And all his commandments are sure. Eight. They stand fast forever and ever and are done in truth and uprightness. Listen, man. You know what it is, man. Listen, listen. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and a good understanding. Have all they that do his commandments, his praises endureth forever. That is the spirit, y'all. Brothers is out here telling you these, these, it's just by faith. Brothers don't want to do these commandments, bro. <laughs> 
That's what it really boils down to because you read throughout this book and say here, say there, say here, say there, say that the works are what? The commandments. The works of his hands are verity and judgment. All his commandments are sure. Hey, listen, as long as we doing these commandments, he going to love to judge you and give you the good things that he promised you. But according to the word that Moses gave us life and death and those commandments are gift and a curse. If you do these commandments, you're going to be blessed. If you don't, you're going to be what? And that's why he said they stand forever and ever and are done in truth and uprightness. Fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, man, to do the commandments, brother. Hey, man, brothers doing these commandments, we understand. We got a good understanding. We got a good understanding. Precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little. We get understanding. Is what the book says. Loosely paraphrasing a precept. You know, this thing is incredible, man. At, at some points, I just, you know, I'm confounded. <laughs> but, you know, it, this word stands true in so many ways, man. Hey, listen, at this point, we're going to continue to just run down, man, on the topic, man, because this is the good pleasure and joy of the saints in these last days, man, to be fishermen. Hey, and to get this word out there in truth and sincerity, bro, what are we talking about right now? Faith alone is dead. And anybody telling you that, hey, listen, and furthermore, works alone is dead, y'all. You can hold the commandments all you want to. You can hold the commandments all you want to, but if you're in Christ, you're going to fulfill the commandments in love and work if no ill will towards your brother and not hold your brother hostage with it, but lift them up. Comfort him with these scriptures. A comfort, feed, edify my children if you love me, God said. Feed my sheep. Then say tear them down, but build them up. Open rebuke is better than secret love because love Work if no ill will towards his neighbor. You're not trying to break the man up and trip him up like the Sadducees and Pharisees. You just want the man to be all right. At the end of the day, how you going to hold him over man? How you going to hold a man over when he hold the high holy day, except but that he hold the high holy days? Come on, brothers and sisters. We got this, man. Ain't to always sound cheesy with it, but it's going to be that, bro. Because listen, bro, it's, it's got to be all to the good. We really got to restore that royalty and brotherly love, bro. It's really got to be sincere, brother. And if you're really not coming in that spirit, bro, you got to skedaddle. You're not going to be able to stand in this light. Brothers and sisters really love each other out here, man. We really love it in our people, bro. All shapes, sizes, and forms, man. Not judging according to exterior uh, 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 appearances and being in error. Might have to take your eye out, man. You know, listen, brother, sister, listen now. It's getting spiritual. Oh, easy. This is the book of Matthew chapter five, starting at verse 17. Just continuing on faith without commandments is dead. What's the works, y'all? The commandments. Come on, y'all. Stay with me. Rock with your boy. This is the book of St. Matthew chapter five, starting at verse 17. And it reads, think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. How do we fulfill the commandments, y'all? Give me Matthew 19, because listen, it, like I was just saying, if you really made in the image of Christ, you really reborn again, brother, you really moving in the spirit of Hamashiach, which is brotherly love and love of the father uh, uh, above all. Mm. You gonna understand this thing. Listen, man, listen, listen. This is Matthew chapter 19, starting at verse 16 and reading the 17 and it reads and behold. One man, uh, one came and said unto him, good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? 17. And he said unto him, why callest thee, why callest thou me good? There is none good, but one that is God. But if thou will enter into life, keep the commandments. What? Keep. The commandments. That's what color are those letters, y'all? That's red letter. Wait a minute now. You mean that King David and King Solomon said you got to keep the commandments in Psalms? You mean you mean Ezra? Because I believe I may be mistaken, but I believe Ezra wrote Sirach Ecclesiasticus, but I may be wrong. Salakia. But you mean to tell me that that witness that's telling you to keep the commandments and the works are the commandments is wrong too? If the works are the commandments, the good works are the commandments. 
That's two witnesses telling you. And then Christ himself tell you to keep the commandments to enter into what? Into life. <laughs> and he said he's going to give you life more abundantly while you're down here, man. In a word that none of your enemies may gain say. Listen, man, you enemies of Christ out here with this faith doctrine, man. Either you don't know it and you're going off and we have brotherly love for you. Or either you doing it on purpose and you pushing that doctrine that you're pushing to keep people slaves. And you're not leading them to the cross and you're a wolf in sheep clothing and you're going to get yapped off, man. <laughs> we're not playing about our father's business, man. We fishers right now, but the scriptures say we're going to be hunters in the day, boy. Hey, we're not playing with y'all, bro. Y'all better stop lying on the father, bro. I better stop lying on my father, bro. Hey, give me 1 Corinthians because y'all playing with me, man. 1 Corinthians 14 and verse 33 tell you that God is not the author of confusion. How y'all out here saying that all you have to do is believe in Christ and Christ out his own mouth telling you to do what? And he said unto them, why callest thou me good? There is none good but one that is God, the Father now. Listen, but if thou wilt enter into life, key to commandments. Hey, what's some commandments? Let's run down because it's good and healthy, man. Listen. Thou shalt do no murder. Hey, man. Thou shalt commit Thou shalt not commit adultery. Hey, you can't sleep with nobody else's wife, bro. And when you look at the two main things that Christ talked about, what's the two main things that's running rampant right now? Destroying households. It's murders. And it's sexual adulteries. Continuing on, thou shalt not steal. That means going the other way with money, trying to get, trying to boost. Listen. <laughs> and thou shalt not bear false witness. Stop the cap. This is what the Lord do. And this is the endeavor. All praises for that. Thing. Hey, let's give the Lord a hand for that thing, man. He the one who bring the message so clean and crisp, bro. It's just a perfect setup, bro. Listen, it was just like, it was like one, two, three. We cut in the cat, man. Because the Lord say he hate brothers that's out here lying, bearing false witness, bro. And y'all are lying, man. Honor thy father and thy mother, and thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Now, with this honor thy mother or thy father, a precept on that, the Bible say any man that love his mother or father more than me is not more, is not worthy of the kingdom. And I'm going to tell you what that humbly breaks down to. Anybody that's willing to father, follow their mother or they fa and their father doing wickedness and still just be rocking with them and they wicked as hell, hey, you're not worthy of the kingdom because you was ashamed to tell your father about me, bro. You was ashamed, bro. Hey, we not dealing with these off spirits, bro. Honor thy mother and thy father goes so far, bro. But understand, Christ came to set us free with these from these commandments and from the law. And love worketh no ill will towards your brother. So you understand, if somebody working ill will towards you, you don't have to be around them. Cut them off. They got the fruits of the flesh, according to Galatians 5, y'all. Brothers need to sit in it, man, until the Lord work on them and they get themselves right, brother. They, 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 need, to, they need to be rebuked. And they need to repent. <laughs> and listen, love the, love your neighbor as you love yourself. That goes into Leviticus. The neighbor is the children of thy people. The nations that are not uh, in this covenant are still and always going to be strangers and heathen, according to the Bible. But they shall be saved in cleaving unto Israel and they shall be saved and enter. They will not enter into the kingdom, but they shall be saved in cleaving unto Israel. Is what the Bible say in Isaiah 60. Continuing on with this good word and gospel, man. Because Christ coming back for his people, man. Has God cast away his people? Lord forbid. Then we go into the gospel of Jesus Christ. They tell you all you got to do is believe. Hey, man. We getting past the cap, man. Give me Mark 7. We getting past the cap, bro. You, you, you listen, man. These doctrines of men cannot stand against this word, man. God is undefeated, and this book has no equal. Listen, this is the book of St. Mark, chapter 7, starting at verse 7, and it reads, How be it, in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines and commandments of men, for laying aside the commandment of God, 
ye hold the traditions of men. Mm, 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 mm. Skipping down to nine. And he said unto them, full well ye reject the commandment of God that ye may keep your own traditions. Hey man, these religions with these Easter holiday, the Christmas thing, brother. Hey, listen, this is the lay, this is the laying aside of the commandments of God. Passover. Hey man, come on now. We know the high holy days. Shabbat on the Shabbat on the seventh day, brother. <sighs> ain't worried about exactly today. Some brothers do celestial calendars. Some people do this, that, and American calendars, Western calendars, China calendars. Listen, the time is all confounded. The Bible say that the devil would seek to change laws and times, y'all. Get in the spirit. The only thing that matters is that you're trying to observe the whole high, the high holy days. There go that dyslexia again. The high holy days, man. <laughs> That's all that matters, brothers and sisters, that you're doing it. But how be it, man, in vain they do worship, teaching for the doctrines and commandments of men, laying aside the commandments of God. Nine. Hey, man, and, 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 and we can get into it, bro. Don't think it's an issue. I'm just really trying to get y'all there, man. Listen, because washing of pots and cups and other such like things ye do, he's, these are vanities, brother. It, it just said, how be it in vain they do worship me talking about you got to wash pots and cups. Now, don't get it twisted. Cleanliness is close to godliness. You know what I'm saying? On a higher level, don't get carnal. But these are not the main oracles of God, brother. These are not the commandments that God told you. And these are not the most important things that you need to be teaching the, 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 shot, the sheep, man. This is not the full on doctrine that you need to be teaching them, brother. It's bigger than just washing, washing yourself and staying clean and abstaining from sin and making sure that your garments are white on a spiritual level, breaking this down because wisdom is twofold. It's high, man. Most importantly, man, full well, you reject the commandments of God that you may keep your own traditions, man. You got to understand, man. And, and, and like I said, the Christmas stuff, bro, it's all a part of this. Just, oh, just believe on Christ and everything is okay. Hey, I'm going to tell you something while we going at that thing today, bro, because it's that doctrine right there that allows our sisters to be whores in the church. And it, and it allows our men to be effeminate homosexuals in the choir, in the church. It, 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 it allows for women to be preachers and leaders in the church. Now, I'm not saying the sisters can't pray over the women. Yes, the elder women are supposed to deal with the women according to what the scriptures say. But is the woman supposed to be preaching to the men? All right. Yes, it was some women that was prophesying. Well, sister, cover your head. Put on a dress. You need to learn the first oracles of the Lord in humbleness, and then you're going to get the good understanding of why it's meant for you to be quiet and let the men lead. Now you're going to be in the spirit, sister. You're going to be ready to deal with a righteous man who can lead you in these oracles so that you don't have to do all that extracurricular. You could be a straight woman again. Take care of your children. Mind your own business, sister. All good sisters want that. They don't want to be all up in everybody else's business. And all real brothers and godly men don't like gossip. It's what you call these effeminate men. These, I'm going to speak as a man. These whole men. These whole ass niggas, bro. These effeminate, soft, you know. But I'm not going to go too hard because it's the wisdom of the Lord that changes a boy into a man. You understand what I'm saying? And to be a man is to keep the charge of the Lord, man. And we all praying for the faith and the endurance and the grace of God to be able to do that. And that takes faith. But you have to show your faith by your works, family, because faith without works is dead. Continue to run down, man. Hey, listen, give me the book of Revelations. Because right now we're just going to wrap it up. We're going to wrap it up. Give me Revelations 14. We're going to get this thing up out of here, man, because we gave you the New Testament. We gave you the, we get, listen, brother, we gave you multiple witnesses. Now we're just going to go to the end and get past all the cap, man. Because like I said, you know, this salvation is on the line in your, in your life of more abundantly down here. Not only your life, but the life of your children, as the uh, Bible said, brother. You know, you got to teach your children these things as the, as the scriptures brought out today. 
You know, brothers wrestling with me, they brothers wrestling with these scriptures. Brother, you ain't wrestling with your brother, man. Listen, I ain't say nothing. All I did was open the book through the power and the spirit of the Lord and give you some word, brother. That's all I ever do, man. And there is always true, man. Sometimes I be rude in speech, but never am I lacking in knowledge. Man. As a matter of fact, man, give me that. Give me that, brother. Because you know, your brother, your brother be uh give me 2 Corinthians. <laughs> Give me 2 Corinthians. Salakia, Salakia. Because your brother be speaking hard, man. And I need y'all to understand, man. I speak I speak a message that God gave me. And you're going to understand, brother. The, the Hebrew, we're not the Christian church, brother. You know, we don't believe that, that curse words are a sin, brother. <laughs> we believe that we should abstain from the appearance of all evil. As the scriptures say, yes, we do believe in the volume of the book. We should, we believe that we should abstain from all appearance. And if we do offend, then we will curve, you know, so that we offend less. And that's the love, the brotherly love, because like I said, the familiar of the camp, like the Bible says, so like you, you wouldn't even let me go with that. Like the commandment says, like the word of God says, like the truth, the life and the way says in the volume of the book, Christ Hamashiach himself says in this Bible, man. You know, love worketh no ill will towards his brother. Therefore, you're going to always fulfill the commandments. You're always going to, you're never going to be holding these commandments anymore. It's not going to be something that you have to hold up. It's not going to be something that you have to wrestle and, 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 and strive and try to learn and understand and do anymore. When you're in the spirit of love, when you're really in the spirit of brotherly love, it's going to come to you through the spirit, man. Because the Bible say that the, the Holy Spirit going to bring all things to your remembrance, what God have told you. And that's how we gonna know him in that day, brother. Ooh, it's so it's so it's such a beautiful circle. You see what I'm saying? But when you when you hatchet that word and try to take away, brother, then then we getting you wrestling. You're wrestling. But listen, brothers and sisters, I want you to understand something, man. I speak harsh, man. I speak hard because these times that we are in are harsh and hard. But I'm speaking life and light unto you, and I need you to understand this. This is the book of Second Corinthians. Chapter 2, chapter 11, Salakia, starting at verse 11. And it reads, Though I be rude in speech, yet not in knowledge, but we have been thoroughly made manifest among you in all things, man. You got to understand these ordained, these ordained men of the Lord, they not your choir, your choir boys. We from the streets, brother. We from Bethlehem, man. The same hood that Christ was in. Yeah, we them Hebrews that's in the ghetto, man. And I'm going to tell you something, man. It's hard living in the ghetto, man. And we speak different, man. But I'm going to tell you something. The love is always genuine. Let's continue to run down and get on up out of here, family. We're going to go to the book of Revelations, chapter 14. And read at verse 12, y'all. And this thing reads. Scary hours, Revelation. We're getting to the end, y'all. Listen. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. Whoa, wait a minute. Hey, do you understand that, 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 that in the volume of this book, Hamashiach told you that faith without works is dead. And then in the end, he tell you that all the saints that's going to be marching in with him, whether they be 144,000, 420 elders, the foundation, the walls. Hey, y'all better go to the kingdom of heaven, the streets of gold lesson so that you can understand the parables of that building that's gold and understand that we are the streets of gold. Hey, you ever you ever knew that you was 24K gold in the most high's eyes and you going to be what fill the streets of gold and you going to be the streets of gold? Shameless plug, man. Listen, wisdom going to increase in these last days and we out here doing this work, being good fishermen, thus saith the Lord, trying to get them into the party because it's going to be a turn up. <laughs> so like you, listen, and the Lord said the saints that's going to be marching in with him man, his people that's going to get a crown of rulership with him, what they going to be doing, man, they going to be in patience. They going to be perfect in patience, like I believe James say, wanting for nothing. Being perfect in patience. And what the patient saints doing down here while they waiting? Listen, man, here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. Hey, listen, man, <laughs> that's faith and works, y'all. And that has been proving the issue that the faith without commandments is dead because Christ said in the volume of the book, brother, if you don't keep these commands, he said, brother, listen, Revelation, Matthew, the man asked him plain as day, what I got to do to get eternal life, bruh? 
And the Lord tell him, keep the commandments, man. Listen. <laughs> Further down in that chapter, the man said, I did these things since a youth. He said, well, listen, sell everything you have to the poor. Come follow me. Baby, we rocking. Let's go fishing. Let's go fish out for the men in the kingdom of heaven, man. And see great glorious works of the Lord. And let's shake this flesh and become full spirit. Let's get ready to go to heaven, man. And, and, and be the light down here while we got to sacrifice our body for the work and for the ministry of the Lord. Hey, y'all not hearing me, man. I'm so thankful, man, to be able to do this, man. I'm so thankful that the Most High has entrusted this thing into the hands, man, of your boy. Hey, listen, continue in the rundown. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, write, blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. Yea, saith the spirit that they may rest from their labors and their works do follow them. <laughs> hey, man, when you have rest, you go into the Father, man. Do you really understand that line, bro? Do you really understand that, that your works going to follow you? Because faith without your works is, and you're going to prove your faith by your works. Hey, 14, and I look and behold a white cloud, and upon the cloud, one sat like unto the son of man, having on his head a golden crown and in his hand a sharp sickle. Hey, man, the most high coming back to judge, man. <laughs> Woe to the passes that mislead the flock. <laughs> hey, you out here flirting with fire out here with these doctrines, brother. Hey, listen, you know, a hey, Hebrews 5 and 12 loosely breaking that down tell you that in times when you ought to be teachers you have needs to to relearn and be retaught which are the first principles and oracles of god man in this time in these last days brothers and sisters should not be on a basic level still dealing and wrestling with the scriptures when it comes to faith or works but we should be putting it all together in christ we should be putting it all together in hamashiach Hey man, give me uh give me Revelations 22 and verse 14. And let's get ready to get on out of here, family. You know, I pray that again, man, that this endeavor be edifying to one or two. <clears throat> I pray that through the power and the spirit, uh, the most high speaks to you. And uh, you know, that you continue to armor up in these last days, doing and practicing the righteous acts, the good works of the Lord, which are keeping the commandments. Listen. <laughs> This is the book of Revelations 22, starting at verse 14. And it reads, Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. What city is that, man? That's the kingdom of heaven, man. And who going to get you there, man? Christ Hamashiach, yeah, because he what? The judge that you're going to be dealing with. And he's going to pull these scriptures. He's going to open the book of life, which is this book. He said he opened the books. And then another book was opened, which was the book of life. And the men were judged out of those things that were written in there. Brother, did, how your faith line up according to this word of God? Was you doing the righteous? Was you fulfilling the commandments and love and dealing with your brother? Did you love me? And keep the commandments because you know that it's the Bible say that if you love me, which is God, you keep my commandments. <clears throat> hey, man, with that, it's been your brother. <laughs> Yasharala Mo, Mo Yasharala. Either way it go, you know exactly what it do. Call her law to Yahweh. By Shem, Yahweh Shai. Or in the English tongue, all praises. Honor, glory, and reverence, man, unto the Most High God, in the name of His only begotten Son, who the world called Jesus Christ. Hey, man. Is it by faith? Is it by works, y'all? We know that it takes both. With that, Shalom. Shalom. <laughs>